Such wonderful quick hips, really opens up nicely. It's one of uh, Mr. Secrets to being such a wonderful iron player. Bags of ability, really has. Average putts per round here, care of Odyssey. 74 spot, Richie, who's an 88. Burmester could uh, help here a bit if he rolled this one in for an eagle. Beautiful second shot there. Quiet, but he moves to eight under. No problem here for Burmester. He's actually got a very good green reader, he's Kelly James. He's a local caddy from where I come from at home in England, and he's renowned for being a good greens reader, which I think can help the long season, Richard. Uh, just trying to ease one down there, Burmester. Yep. Big okay. wide fairways this week. It really does suit him out there. Oh, that's a bounce and a half. We haven't seen many of those. It's going to play the magnificent stay in City Course play even shorter. That's an incredible hit. Nice flat lie. Beautiful. Just doing a quick calculation. I think that yeah, you know, that must have been about the 370, 380 mark off the tee. <laughs> oh, late breaker there for Blamester. That was a very lovely grovelling apology box. It was impressive. It's fairly grovelling. Well, listen, <laughs> he takes the Mickey out of me enough. Oh, oh, he just listen. told me you're really, he's really offended you. He's what? <laughs> He's really offended. Is he? <laughs> Every bird is valuable. Oh dear. That, I'm afraid. Look, we knew it was going to be a tough chip. He's on a downslope going uphill, but I think even you at home can see that. He tried to help that in the air. He didn't let the loft work for him. And, uh, you know what? This is a putt that you don't want to hit fat because he's got to give it a good hit to get it up to the hole from there. Didn't even get an idea of the line on the way up, but it's going to go a little from right to left. Oh, the agony, the agony. Understandable. Well, this looks a little tougher. Obviously, the lie is sitting down. Needs to pitch it far enough to get any sort of release. And a beauty. There you go, you never know what you're going to get, do you? Good matchup. Just needs to pitch this on the flat. That sounded a little heavy. A bit of a chunk and run, but he's got away with it. Nice. Yeah, but you can see by the expression on his face that it absolutely was not what he was trying to do. He yeah. definitely got that heavy, didn't he? Face wide open for Burmester. Fast down here, I'll tell you what I said. Good luck to you with that. And he has hold it. That's as good a bunker shot as you're going to see the whole week. Beautifully played. Lovely flex in the knee, so it could come a little shallower than normal. Face wide open, landed it inch perfect. Dean Burmester, bunkers need to be avoided. You really do have to hit this fairway if you want to hit the screen in two shots. He looks very, very happy with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. 7.30. He'd be mad if he wasn't. <laughs> Another very long drive by Dean Burmester. He's only got 225 yards left. So this will probably be whew, seven up. Pitch it in the middle of the green. And he may have an eagle opportunity. 
Oh, well, he has there as well. You're right there, Dale. Big hit in that, Dale, isn't it? 576 yards, driving a, uh, driving a what, 7-9, you reckon? I think there was a 7-9, yeah. yeah. Oh, two wonderful shots here from Dean Burmester. He's got this for his eagle. And I think he has to just start it inside the rock. I wouldn't leave the hole. Beautifully yeah, 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 lovely eagle there from Burmester. Moves alongside Very Oliver Becker now. Good half. South Africans holding spots one, two, and three now. The last three holes that we've seen doing Burmester, we've seen a masterclass. Hold a bunker shot, then two of the most magnificent shots. Another beautiful drive here. This for his second eagle in a row. That is massively impressive. That's incredible stuff. 3 2. Eagle, eagle, as Dale was saying. Oh, and so you should. Oh, will for it be flying. He's got wings. He has, and he's moved to within one now of the lead. A little bit downhill. The tee is slightly above the, uh, the green. You play over the water, it shouldn't come into play for these players, but for the club golfer would be a nightmare. Yeah, probably an A time for him. Oh, it's such a bad golf shot. Yeah, I had more than that in my head. I had 65, good 9 iron. Got away with it, he's saying just Kenny, I should have hit a good 9 iron. Thermister, oh, very pulled tee shot here at the 12th. He was in between clubs between an eight and a nine. I went for the eight and just tugged it left. Now, Burmester, after a weakish chip, and he wasn't very happy with that chip shot. Four and a half feet short. And uh, he had a very good look at what uh, Ashwin's putt did. Oh, safe here. Yeah, you don't want to go eagle, eagle, and then give one away straight away. It's a, a good momentum keeper, that par. So, Burmester down the hill, just from the fringe. The pace. Thanks. Extremely well judged for pace. Thanks. Right, right. Good touch. Should be no problem for Bernister. And she goes. Remains one behind the leader. Eight under for the day. Back to back Eagles on 10 and 11. <laughs> Some performance. But at this point, Bernister's not feeling it. Drop shot at five, oh but apart God. from that, it's been okay. Burleys and Eagles galore. And that must have looked Thanks. awesome. Back at the tee. Gosh, Finn's training beauty. <laughs> it's a terrific shot, and I think he thought it was even closer, Wally. I think you're right. This is such a difficult par three. Almost 230 yards. And it's to tie the lead as well, Burmester. Round it comes. He hasn't hit it, or has he? No, he had it as well. Look at that, right in the middle. It's such a good run, though. You'd just expect it to keep going, wouldn't you? After back-to-back -back eagles, three piles in a row. He's putting the brakes on. <laughs> Looking around just to try and gauge what the wind is doing. So the wind is swirling a little. It's quite a spinny one, this. I need to pick, there we go. I watched that this morning. Watch a number of groups just spinning it back off that front. Thank you. Control. Thanks. Lovely control.
uphill putt here for Dean Burmes to turn a little to the right. Came up out of that very quickly. We've seen more mallet putters now than we've ever seen. I think all but one is it. Beautiful long tee shots down the middle of each fairway. So let's see if you can finish off with another rebound. He's picking up the tee very quickly, it's always a good sign. I mean, it's a wonderful thing when the, the middle bunker is 332 to carry and it's not even in your mind. Anyway, the last time he was in a bunker, he hold it. He raved about his bunker play, Tony. Yeah, the previous one he played was excellent, and that was absolutely shocking. Oh, my. Yeah, he's a he's born a fellow Zimbabwean and a friend. But I've got to say, that was... That was no good. He knows it. I don't need to tell him that. Oh, well, I fancy he's thinking about chipping this in and saving a par. It's a lovely shot, just he needed a bit more steam. Yeah, I mean, he, he knocked the hole on the head with that T-shirt of his. It was a par three and a half for him. Walks up with five, understandably seething. Yeah, seething. it's an untidy bogey to finish for Dean Burmester at 65. Unbelievably. An untidy finish. It was a stunning round of golf until then. Dean is 65. Yep. Um, how would you sum that up? Um, great in patches, average in patches, but at least there was some great. So uh, any day you shoot 7 under, you can't really be disappointed, and I'm not really that disappointed. Can't be often that you go eagle, eagle. Can you talk us through that, please? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, I actually started on 9, hold my bunker shot for 2, um, which was pretty cool, and then... Went and it smashed the driver right down the middle. It was the best one I've hit in, oh, I don't know how long, the longest one anyway. It hit seven on in there to about six feet. Inside left putt, rolled it straight in the middle. And then um, driver was too much going over the green and one iron was, you know, touch and go whether I could fly the front. Brings the water in place, so I just hit a high, like 30-yard cut driver to about eight feet and rolled that in. So, you know, manufactured something which is quite cool. It, that, that shows that my swing's in a decent place. Is it fun making those kind of decisions? Um, I think it's fun arguing with my caddy about them for sure. I, Pup is, you know, I don't know, oh, why don't we lay it up, why don't we do something, why don't we do this? And I was just like, nah, come on. We hit on the green yesterday, we'll hit on the green again. And I did, so every now and again I suppose a blind squirrel gets a nut and I was lucky this time. Scoring aside or the scorecard aside, how's the game feeling? Feels okay. Um, I'm putting well, I've been putting well this, almost this whole year really. i um, been rolling it great with decent speed. Um, yeah, I think I've hit, I haven't hit over 30 putts in my last like four or five tournaments, which is great. Um, I haven't been hitting that many greens, but this week I've hit a lot of greens and I think I had 25 yesterday and 26 today. So if the putter keeps hot and I manage to hit a few a little closer, then I think the game's in great shape. Nice to be in the mix going into the weekend, obviously. Of course. I mean, that's where everybody wants to be. Um, you know, I was kind of in the mix last week, peaking with and had a really bad Saturday. Um, so there was a lot to learn on that Saturday and then managed to bounce back with a good Sunday and crack a little top 20 and now I'm just going to hopefully have a good Saturday and a good Sunday. If I can put two of those together then who knows. Thank you for your time. No problem. To watch another DP World Tour video click here and to subscribe click here.